Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, the world would be a better place if you all had the opportunity to read more is the belief that underpins the purpose of the book fair. Its program for 2015 offers something for everyone from literary snobs to voracious readers or occasional, you know, one's children and even those who may need a little nudge to get into reading. Over 100 authors, writers, poets, publishers and playwrights will be sharing their experience, talents and knowledge in a three-day book inspired escapade which begins on the 31st of July at the Turbine Hall in Newtown. Joining us in studio is Bakya Bricka, Program Director of the South African Book Fair. Good morning, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. You know the year's gone when we start talking about the book fair. What can we look forward to this year? Well, the South African Book Fair is the slice and celebration of what's happening in books, mm. in the world of books in South Africa. So it's everything from serious discussions about politics and race and economics to the fun stuff. Like we have a, an, an event with um, Kaya Dlanga and Dumiso and Khobo talking boys, books and beers, yes. obviously, over refreshments. <laughs> um, we have Tina Mklope, the, the master storyteller, telling stories in a whole range of South African languages. So there's a, a a formal program for which you can um, book tickets and come. There's an amazing children's program. We have David Melling, who's an illustrator. I don't know if you know Douglas yeah. Douglas, yes. um, but he is famous in some parts, certainly for little ones. Yes. Um, and he will be joining us and doing a whole range of workshops and things like that. So there's children's events as well. And then apart from that, we have events out of the event room, you know, because festivals can sometimes be rather yes. stiff. Yes. Um, so we've taken them out and we have things like poetry for Sunday down is in the bar downstairs in that sultry bar at Turbine Hall. We have walking tours around Turbine Hall um, talking about things like book inspired things, mm. um, what's in a name, how the name changes, um, how names have changed of the historical buildings and streets in the area around Turbine Hall and looking at from a literature, literature point of view and the real point of view as well. Um, so there's something for everybody. Yeah. Why is Turbine Hall the best place to host it? I mean, the Turbine Hall, and I look at it and I think, Yes, it's perfect. But yes. why? how did you guys come up with this? Well, it was always the source of power. Mm -hmm. And I think books are always a source of power. So that's the first thing, just poetically. But also locationally, just that lots of people can get there. It's easy to access. What was very important for us at the South African Book Fair is that it's accessible because mm -hmm. books should not be all literary. Mm. They, they should be available to anybody and it doesn't matter what you're reading mm. as long as you're reading. And that's why we tried to locate it in a place where everyone could reach and it was a fun and accessible place, not intimidating to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, an interesting place. It's, it's what Joburg is. What for you have been the highlights of hosting the book fair? The highlights the for year, me... Year. Um, well, it's when everything comes together. You know, the program, anyone will tell you, when you've got 100 authors over 100 events, um, things happening concurrently, five things happening at the same time, um, the program is never final until it's done. So when you see things come together and you see that magic on, on a panel um, or the sparks fly, yeah. that's where the joy is. The argument about indigenous languages yes. and indigenous readers is always going to be there. It's an ongoing discussion. So it was be. also there at French Rook as well. Does the festival cater for indigenous uh, languages? Yes. Mm -hmm. We've taken it um, a couple of steps forward, which I'm very pleased to say. So we have events in Isikosa, events in Isizulu, and then English and Afrikaans. And those were the, the four we focused on. Obviously, we would love to broaden it, and we certainly will. Mm -hmm. um, but particularly for children, that was something that we felt very strongly about. And the school groups in particular mm. are across all four of those languages which which is a great yeah. step forward and the opportunity for writers what does the festival offer so there's a range of workshops, from mm -hmm. publishing to poetry workshops. You have somebody like Fanuela Dowling, who is a master and has been doing this for years, who can share her expertise, um, script writing. There are a whole range of workshops. And, of course, there'll be publishers there. So if you want to punt your book and try and get it published, this is the place. There's 60 exhibitors on the exhibit. All the right, so floor. give us dates, give us times how do people get a hold of you okay so the 31st of july uh -huh. this month and the first and second of august the first and second of august are for the public the 31st of july mainly for the learners and school going children um visit us uh online mm -hmm. and you'll get the full program at southafricanbookfair.co.za 
um, and all the information will be there. And we hope you'll join us. I'm excited about the Kailanga and Dumisung Nobles discussion. I, yeah. That sounds like it's going to be an interesting <laughs> discussion. Okay, speaking to us about the South African Book Fair, the biggest of its kind, like your favorite novel is filled uh, with exciting characters, captivating dialogue and adventure. Of course, from the South African Book Fair, Batya Prika, Program Director for the South African Book Fair. Interesting indeed. It plans to be, it promises to be very interesting. Let's take an hour break. Stay with us. The city of Durban and its surroundings is one that is filled with history and cultural diversity. Durban is a natural paradise known for its gorgeous coastline of sun-kissed beaches and subtropical climate. Flea markets are essential to visit if you want to experience Durban's Afro-Oriental atmosphere. The city of Durban is an elegant, mature and ambitious city. The vendors at the Vic offer a